So my story starts as well. I think I was always drawn to teaching people and I actually trained to be a teacher uh, when I was just straight after school. And then um, life took me on a very different road. And just prior to going full time with my business, I worked as um, insights and analyst for insurance company. So the whole switch into uh, leading social media and doing that again was a kind of a big personal barrier because I worked with social media and data from a very different perspective. I was an investigator who, you know, um, looking at other people's social media for you know for different purposes. So for me, it was a, a big step to overcome that. Um, and I think many people would relate that especially if you haven't used social media for yourself like I haven't like for 10 years I didn't have or active Facebook or active so uh, Instagram and then you have to kind of really step out of your comfort zone and get into there uh, kind of I think the first thing I was thinking well is it safe uh, and the second thing I was thinking um, you know, that how people perceive it, you know, are they going to think that I'm vain or, you know, is it shallow because I'm going to be now on social media all the time. So I had to really work on my mindset um, to refrain that I'm not doing it for me to show, you know, how wonderful I am, but I am using social media as an opportunity to connect with other people, as an opportunity to share who, who I am and um, for, for the audience to, to find me and get in touch with me. Um, so that really helped to to start uh, just doing it little by little. And I, you know, as a first step, and for those who are just starting out, um, go to the platform that you're most comfortable with first. So Facebook, I was more comfortable with first. So I created a group, um, you know, like my community, you know, a graphical group. And then I started um, promoting and building the community there. And after I got comfortable with the first platform, then I moved to the to Instagram as well and start doing both. So I think that is kind of an important thing. If that is a new skill, don't try to do all the channels all at the same time, comfortable with things that you know, and then slowly kind of um, get more and more things going. Um, the other thing I would say when you uh, try to build your brand on social media, it's important to provide value to people and most importantly to be your your real self um, you've got to share your vulnerabilities um, and I know lots of people trying to be perfect or want to be perfect on camera um, as and they deliver courses but that could be actually your worst enemy because you, you know what people actually want to see that you are a real human that you have you know something that you might not be comfortable with that you know sometimes you stutter or you forget words and then um, you might share a little bit of things that are going on in your personal life so they be, can be part of your journey um, so when I, I deliver my classes or having an open webinar I always try to share a real story about myself whether that's from the past or from my present so they can actually see okay well yeah I can relate to that there is a problem she resolved it or she's still she's still going through that um, so that would be kind of my advice like uh, try not to be uh, perfect and just go with what it is, who you are, and then you'll find that no matter you know how you do it, you're going to find your people. You're going to find the people who are your biggest fans, who enjoy your voice, who enjoy how you speak, how you wave hands, or you know whatever you do there. Um, and you know, I agree in terms of the community. For example, when I um, interact with people in my group, uh, one of the things that I started doing kind of later on when, when I realized the potential of the group and how it's really need to be done properly, I used to just accept people automatically to start with, but now I actually have a process where I can approve people manually. That gives me an opportunity also just to say a quick message to say, hello, welcome to the group. Um, I'm your neurographic instructor. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want me to send you some, you know, further information, you know, point you to the resources. So I agree, this is a great way to connect to people. So it's just a different approach. You could do it for your personal profile and yes, send friend requests, or if you have a group community on Facebook or even on Instagram, you know, when people follow you, you can always say hi. Um, and that again, something that I came through uh, recently, I start sending thank yous to every, you know, like to every comment, um, and actually saying hi to people who connect with me just so I can see if there is a, a potential for interaction if there are any questions and I'm always interested to to know whether people have heard about Neurographica because it's kind of a new modality and um, getting that interaction going and what I love about it and you know the social media in general the opportunities in terms of global reach I've 
never spoken with people from so many different backgrounds. I've got people that speak from India, Indonesia, Canada, US, Poland, Romania. Um, and I feel really blessed that I'm able just to um, reach so many people. And when we get live and all my students, I uh, think I've got kind of like a, a selection from each country. And I think people get really, really excited about the fact that you could learn uh, and connect to people from so many different backgrounds but still as humans we have the same problems <laughs> no matter where you're in Canada in the UK or Romania um, you know women struggle with emotions women, women being um, traumatized in the childhood uh, or they um, you know suffering with um, anger or anxiety uh, no matter age no matter race and um, you really feel like you you belong somewhere. So that kind of my uh, quick um, intro about social media. I'm no expert and I'm still uh, learning about it every day as I go. Uh, but yeah, I think my biggest um, revelation is about being yourself and allowing um, other people a little bit in, into your world. Thank you so much, Anna. I think what's so interesting is, is what you just said there at the very end about being, you know, you say you're no expert and you're still going on that journey. That's why I think what you're what you have to say is is really powerful because you're actually going through it now and you can say these things have just happened to you and they worked. And I think people listening will be able to say, oh, yeah, you know, I, I can see that I can do that. I noticed with you talking about the connections. I think that's a really important thing that you said about, you know, when people reach out to follow you or connect with you, you send them a message message um to make that first point of contact like alan was talking about communication being so important you know debbie was talking about community it all comes down to people you know um the people and we and us and how we connect with them how we relate to them and in finding those people what you said which was brilliant was that they'll find you yeah they do find you and um, yeah general when you generate some activity and then another thing is having the momentum um, which is very very challenging especially not particularly organized and you don't have your like a content plan for weeks so if you're a bit like me which i'm a bit sporadic um, and i know if i'm having a good week and having a, mon a momentum you know posting my stories and having my reels and um, it kind of goes like a snowball. Um, the more you do, the more activity you get, the more people get to see you. And again, exactly, this is the whole point. People get to see you and they, if they see you and they are um, interested in what you've got to say or to offer and they see the connection, it's very much on a personal level. There is no, there is no rhyme or reason. We just either like people or we don't. And <laughs> yeah, social media just gives you that opportunity to put yourself in front of your potential customer, follower, collaborator. And like you said, um, and like Alan said, it's not always about getting a customer. Uh, a lot of my interactions that I've had was about something else, was about mutual help, a help mutual share. Um, mutual projects.